Good afternoon. This is Neil Swanson, and we're looking at the home screen of SAP Business One. And this is the main dashboard. Today's topic is about how to create a user-defined field. So if I take a look at business partners, and I look at a business partner master, you'll notice that there's a number of user-defined fields already on the side on this panel labeled UDF. These fields were created by me at different times for different presentations. So today we're going to just go in and add a user-defined field. And the topic will be of the user-defined field. Let's say we want to set something up about, um, we want to set a user-defined field up for, uh, to indicate if we're going to send a customer a particular holiday card. So you'll notice that in master data, there's an extensive list of areas within business, one where I can add user-defined fields, basically anywhere. So I want to choose business partner. I want to go into the business partner side panel. And these are user-defined fields that had already been configured. So we're going to add one more. So I'll say add. And I'll just give it a database name called uh, holiday card. And I'll add a description of send holiday card. And I'll make this kind of a, a Boolean list. I'll say it's alphanumeric. And maybe I'll keep it simple, just call it uh, maybe eight characters and a regular structure of which you have many options. And I do want to add valid values. And the valid values will be very simple. Yes. I'll capitalize. No. No. And maybe I'll add one more called uh, maybe. This way someone might want to qualify the type of holidays they celebrate and which cards would be appropriate. So all I need to do is say add. And I'll ignore that uh, the database is open on my demo laptop here. And what will happen is SAP Business One will now add that user-defined field to the um, business partner master. So once that's finished, I'll simply click OK. And what it's doing is updating uh, a lot of records in the software. I click OK. And if I go back to business partner master, you'll see that now there is a new field here called send holiday card. If I turn on the View System Information button here, down on the lower right-hand corner, and it's kind of, it doesn't show up in this video. Let me just see here. If I can scroll here. Yep. You'll see down in the lower left-hand corner, right here, it'll say that the table name is OCRD, and the field name is U underscore HAL card. That's U is user-defined field underscore holiday card. So now I can write a report. So I want to go into a business partner called, um, let's see, micro, is that a business partner? Microchips. And I want to label them as, yes, we want to send them a holiday card. And I can add other tables here in field, say which holiday card, uh, when it needs to go out, the dates, things like that. I'll update that on microchips. Now to write a report to see which customers and which business partners get a holiday card, I'll simply go into a query. I'll go into Query Generator. It mentioned my table name before as being OCRD. And now all I need to do is point and click. I'll say card code, card name. It's going to write the SQL to me, uh, or for me, I should say. Ship to street, zip code, phone number, contact person. And then I want to say holiday card, right? And you notice I just clicked and added all those fields to my uh, query. And it wrote my query for me. And you can see that only one customer here, Microchips, has send holiday card as an option. All right. Now I can further go back and say, well, I want to I want to uh, add a filter there, right? Where holiday card, um, let's say, contains. Let me put that there. Contains. The word yes, or I want to put down holiday card is uh, equal to yes, something like that. And what will happen is when I rerun the query, it'll filter out just those companies that are required to get a holiday card. So that's it. Very simple. If there's any questions, please get in touch with me. Again, I'm Neil Swanson with Nware Technologies. I appreciate your time. Bye-bye.